Hey guys, my name's Jamin. Thanks so much for visiting my channel. In this video, I'm working on a Dell Chromebook 11. The exact model is a CB1C13. I'm gonna show you how to get inside, access your motherboard. So first thing, power down your computer the correct way. Make sure it's off and unplugged from your charger. We're then gonna flip it over to access our bottom case screws. You have these two screws here, these two here, and these three in the middle. I'm gonna go through now and take out all those screws. Once all the screws have been removed, I'm gonna take my small flat metal pry tool and I'm gonna go on this seam and pop up the bottom case from the rest of the computer. So the seam is right there on the edge. So that came up fairly easily and there's nothing on the bottom, it's just the bottom case, bottom panel. After we get our bottom panel up, this is what you're looking at for the inside of your computer. Now as a general repair side note guys, whenever I'm working on a computer in my shop, it's sitting on an anti-static mat. Either that or an anti-static bracelet are great ideas to avoid damaging the computer when you're working on it. If you need any help with tools or supplies for your computer project, as well as any of these replacement parts for this specific model computer, there'll be a link above, also below in the description, where all those tools and supplies and replacement parts will be in one list. Now before I touch anything inside a computer, I always either remove or at least unplug my battery. And since this plug is so tight with the battery, it's gonna be hard to unplug it without re removing the battery. So I'll show you how to remove the battery now. It's held in by these two screws on the bottom, this screw in the corner, and this screw on top. So I'm gonna undo those screws. Now after undoing those screws, the battery can come up just a little bit. And even though it's best in a computer to never actually pull on the wires when unplugging something, you always wanna try to manipulate the plug and not the wires. This is so short and there's no real grips on that plug. So to get the battery out of that port, you would have to just slowly, gently try to wiggle it out like that, which is not ideal, but in this computer, that, that's what you have to do. Your motherboard is right here. Uh, you have the motherboard spec information there, model numbers, part numbers. I will have that information below in the description. If you're looking for your own replacement, I will try to have a motherboard replacement option as well in that link I told you about with all the replacement parts. They can be hard to find, but if I can find them online, I'll try to have a link in there. To get your motherboard up, you would of course have to unplug everything that it's attached to. Uh, you'd have to remove the fan, the Wi-Fi card. Uh, you'd have to unplug this keyboard ribbon cable, the touchpad ribbon cable, your speakers. Uh, keep in mind, these type of ribbon cable connectors are very fragile. The way they work, you have a black clip here and a white clip there. And the way they work is you're gonna take a small, flat plastic pry tool and you slide it under that clip very carefully and then pop it up. And once it's popped up, the ribbon cable can come out. Same thing with this one, very carefully. Pop the black clip up and the, and the ribbon cable can come out. Now I say they're fragile because if you break those, you won't be able to secure the ribbon cables in place very well, which may make your computer useless. So be very careful. I'm gonna put that right back in there. And once it's flush and straight, I'm gonna gently put that clip black back down to secure it. Same thing with this ribbon cable. Put that in there, make sure it's flush then press that clip down. Be very careful with those. The other thing up here is your LCD cable and there's just a black pull tab that pulls that right off. Sometimes these pull tabs break, so go nice and easy, pull that and grab the cable and take it up. But that's pretty much most of the components in, in this model computer. So that's the video, I hope it was helpful. If you have any questions, try the FAQs below in the description first. It could save you some time getting an answer. But if you do need to leave me a question or comment, please do. I do try to get to those a couple times a day at least. And as always, please remember to like and share if this was helpful. If you think it can help someone else, feel free to subscribe if you enjoy DIY computer content like this. Thanks so much for watching guys. I look forward to seeing you on my next video.